In 2015, Thomas Barton of the Harvard Business School posted an article titled, Why Tesla Won't Be Able to Scale. Imagine looking at this chart five years later, seeing that Tesla is up 1,000% and getting the news that Tesla was just added to the S&P 500. And keep in mind, not only did Tesla scale, Tesla is currently the king of scale. In 2017, Elon Musk said that Tesla would eventually build 10 to 20 gigafactories worldwide. Now, 10 to 20 gigafactories, that may not mean nothing to you, right? Let's think about what that really means. Remember this, if nothing else. A gigafactory can produce 500,000 cars a year. And tell me, how would you feel knowing that you could have bought in five years ago at $32 a share, but instead... You spend your time writing an article about how Tesla won't be able to scale. <laughs> now, this channel was created because I thought there was a need for finance channels to get straight to the point. If you appreciate that, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into the notes. Tesla is on fire and shot up 13% after hours after the S&P announcement and on the 21st, that's when they're going to get basically inducted in to the S&P 500. Man, shout out to Tesla for that. That's huge. That's crazy. This legitimizes them. They are already legitimate to me and other investors who invest into EVs. However, the world will now see that Tesla is literally a legitimate company and how people who always short Tesla and have been losing money year after year after year. Including myself, the underlying business. I mean, it's amazing. Elon Musk has made such a sideshow of himself that people started to forget. Are actually kind of crazy. In order to secure a spot in the S&P 500, Tesla needed to secure four straight quarters of net profit. They straight exceeded that and blew it out of the water and got five straight quarters of net profit. Tesla posted a net profit of $331 million on September 30th. Now, this marks Tesla's fifth consecutive quarter not fourth fifth consecutive quarter of overwhelming profit and according to wall street journal this marks a milestone for the company that over the course of 17 years has sought to overcome cash problems and defy skeptics now how did this happen tesla has been on an absolute rampage during the pandemic stock analysts are saying that tesla straight dominated the world during you know what virus now, when so many companies have failed and folded, Tesla just straight destroyed the competition. Now, this is exciting news, but be cautious. Remember, proceed with caution because historically, when Tesla has big news, it shoots up. It shoots up in price ridiculously, but it then settles on a new resistance line. And then it bounces up again. So how should you move forward? Before we get to that, let's get to an example of when this actually happened, this price target moving. So they were selling $5 billion worth of shares to raise capital a few months back. And when that news came out, stock price shot up. It just shot up. Tesla news, there are new traders, new retail investors, new short sellers, everyone's buying in, right? The news shoots the price up. And then it gets to all time highs and then it dips and then after it dips it trades sideways for a little bit of time now historically when tesla goes on a bull run it lasts for about two weeks maybe three weeks just straight up bull run where everyone is buying in your grandma your mom your dad your uncle you just hear tesla 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 it's all you can hear on the news it's like a news cycle just pumping it and then guess what it does after that bull run about two or three weeks it drops it just straight drops. Now it doesn't drop back to its original price or its original highs, it drops at a new support line. And then this is where all of the people say Tesla is overvalued. They come back again with this mess about Tesla being overvalued that they've been saying since it IPO'd. Come on now, when you guys gonna get with the program? The news is gonna draw these short sellers in and I just want you to know this, just for complete care, uh, clarity. Tesla is my second largest holding and I have made a killing on Tesla because I have not been listening to the naysayers who aren't looking at Tesla's business model. 
you have to look at the business model, look at the projected earnings, look at the expected earnings, look at the net profit, look at the profit margins on the vehicles. Tesla, every, every single year, Tesla has been increasing the profit margins on the vehicles. And on top of that, making new batteries work and go further, but also be cheaper. Now, this is ridiculous in terms of how does this company even exist and people are shorting it, right? So shout out to the S&P 500 for acknowledging Tesla. And I want you to know this. This is not financial advice. This is totally not financial advice because I know that some of us are interested in buying more Tesla after hearing this good news. Remember, we do not, do not, do not invest when everyone else is raising, raising, raising the price. Don't throw all of your money at this. This is not financial advice, but I don't want you to just buy that bull run and then it just straight drops on us. So, okay, now this is not financial advice. I want you to do your own research even further than the research that I do on here because I'm just a guy that my opinion is based heavily on research before I get on this camera and I talk to you guys, but I'm just a guy who has your best interests at heart and I want you to know information that you may not have otherwise known. I love y'all. Take care.